so I just noticed that there's a lot of questions regarding especially Anibi and some people still can't find uh, the process and obviously it's been a while I made this video like three years ago because I myself uh, have found challenging to install these plugins uh, but also I just thought because uh, it's been a while uh, things changed we have new OS updates um, I thought we'll just refresh uh, a bit so this is just gonna be a quick recap I will just focus uh, on ladybug tools mm. so here I have a Mac OS Sonoma running on an Intel Mac it's not a, a Apple Silicon Mac please keep that in mind um, I have Rhino 7 should work with Rhino 8 uh, but for this tutorial we will need at least uh, Rhino 7.34 anything before that um, I'll tell you what to do right so I have Rhino here so just to show you guys that my grasshopper has nothing installed um, kangaroo is now part of the default uh, so uh, so let's start with the simple stuff um, so now we have package manager which is like an all-in-one um, right so something uh, that somebody asked previously was vivo bird so if I want to install vivo bird I just click on it and I say install right the following packs is download okay install uh, you need to restart Rhino to see the changes uh, so, so that's fine so I've installed vivo bird uh, but there are still some some plugins like for instance Animony. Yeah, so I couldn't find it. Um, what I'm gonna do is open food for Rhino. Um, and right. Um, so this is the one. As you can see, there's no uh, Apple Mac symbol here, so it's pretty much similar to the previous uh, tutorial. So I just click download. I have it in my downloads. All right. So what we do is we go back, we shoot up Grasshopper, um, and then here I hit File, Special Folders, sorry, and Components folder. All right. It should open a window. It should say Libraries. What I really have to do is just drag this here, okay? And then you won't see anything in Grasshopper yet because we have to restart it to see any changes. So I'm gonna quit right now. So now if I do Grasshopper, I should see both Vivo Bird and Animal. So here I can see WB. I have my Vivo Bird tools, uh, mesh, frame, etc. Uh, Animony, uh, or however you call it. There's a tutorial file I downloaded just to make sure that it runs. So I'm gonna open this. Um, so it's a very nice tutorial you can just say start tutorial double click to loop I can see that this component runs so yes uh, that's fine I'm happy with it okay um, so next so for lunchbox it's the same so go to package manager lunchbox right install install download and install great uh, so if I restart right now which we will in a second we should see it it's pretty simple you can click any previous version from here right done uh, so moving on to the big gun which is uh, which is the ladybug and honeybee and associated apps right so previously it was a bit of a manual process there is a one click install which came out very recently but it's windows only um, but on their uh, github page they have a really good uh, tutorial on how to install ladybug and honeybee for mac right as you can see here uh, it 
it says it is supported so I'm just gonna click download you should download uh, a zip file I see here ladybug tools double click you should unzip it here in this folder there's an installer okay and there's also a text file which I'm gonna open um, yeah so they say you can go here for the instructions I recommend you please uh, go to this page and follow the instructions but for now let's just go ahead um, I'm gonna run the installer so the installer opens up maybe I can benefit from this right so I'm gonna toggle this to, to true So, I should, so I'm gonna go to this uh, path, user path, which is uh, users, and then ladybug tools. So I see a Python zip file, right? And it says I right here. I need to unzip it. So I just double click it. It should unzip it, and it should put out a folder. Okay, and then that's it. And then you say run the installer component below. So I'm gonna go back and run it. Right, and also make sure you're connected to the internet. Okay. Um, I can already see folders populating in, in this route, and I get a pop up that says installation has been successful and restart Rhino to load new components, right? Okay, great. Uh, this is super, right? But I need to install Open Studio and Radiance, okay? Because some of Honeybee's components rely on that. Um, so to install those, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the GitHub page, right? They have a compatibility matrix. So I'm here at the compatibility matrix and I see that my version is 7.34 and I need the uh, relevant radiance file and the open studio for any energy plus uh, stuff. So please remember that we need to download the open studio apps and in this case it's 1.60. So if I click on this, I can see that there's a DMG for macOS and I right click and save link as. Right, uh, so this is a big file. It might take a second or two uh, to download, depending on the speed of your internet. So as it downloads, I'm gonna do Radiance. So I'm gonna click on this link, and then you can find the link to this below. Okay, so I scroll down, and I see an OSX package. So I'm gonna save link. All right, so save. Let's download it. So I'm going to run this and it says Radiance cannot be opened because from an identified developer. Okay. To, 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 to circumvent this we need to open our settings and go to privacy and security and if you scroll down you should see in the security section that Radiance was blocked but you click open anyway right? and it might prompt you to enter your Mac password uh, and you click modify settings. So now. I'm again warned that Mac can't verify it, but it's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna hit continue, continue, enter my password, and installation is complete. Great. You can move it to trash, keep it, depending on what you'd like to do. And now I also see that uh, Open Studio has been downloaded, so to install this, DMG and then the same problem. I'm gonna click OK, go back to privacy and security, click open anyway, and then that should get this going. Open. Right, continue. Um, you can leave this as the default. Uh, but I think the, the steps on GitHub uh, tell you to put it under users, username, ladybug, 
So if I go back to just show you that, let's follow the tutorial step by step. So I need to follow this path. Alright. So I'll copy this. I'm gonna go here. Okay. You can leave this as it is, it should do it. And then I'm gonna hit continue install and it's asking me I click done just keep in mind if you need to run the urban opt uh, dragonfly component you would also need to install uh, urban opt uh, you can just do the same thing follow the instructions um, so now these things are installed let's check right so I've installed radiance I've installed open studio I've done all of these I'm gonna quit Dino. I don't want to save anything. Close stuff. I know. So I'm gonna launch Grasshopper just to see. And I can already see that it's loading all the ladybug uh, stuff, which is a good sign. Close the pop up. Great, so now I see everything installed, right? So there's lunchbox, there's lunchbox ML, uh, there's anemone, there's dragonfly, there's pan oh, sorry, uh, ladybug, and honeybee. Anyway. So, guys, that is it. I think this should get uh, ladybug, honeybee, and dragonfly working on Rhino for Mac. Uh, and that's a very short tutorial an updated version on how to install grasshopper plugins for dino for mac hope it helps uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave uh, comments below i will answer them uh, as soon as i can